sa minento ng ating narrator, then um, magkakaroon po ng exit dito, Indi- which is an indicator na mali po yung pinili natin na image doon sa minento ng ating narrator. Kung hang. Anyo? Hyangum in chulgi. Yan. So this one, or... Hyangum in chulgi. Te? Ne, chuseyo. Namja hajangshil. Jumda chanchani masime chuseyo. Padakaga odi en nao. Jumda chanchani masime chuseyo. So, the reason why I jumped into this activity, even though I, I haven't uh, started with the phrase practice yet for Korean language, is for you to see the importance of uh, the standard activities given by this application. Kasi po kung nag-jump in agad tayo sa um, image practice without even practicing the phrase practice, it will be very hard for us. But kung natutunan po natin sa isa-isa and we are able to enjoy the phrase activity or the first activity, then it will be much easier for us to recognize these images along with the, with the um sound or the audio our narrator is trying to use or to uh, tell. Ayan. So, balik po ulit tayo dito sa ating phrase practice. Ayan. Dito po kasi mara-recognize natin kung ano Annyeonghaseyo. phrase or phrases na binabanggit ng ating narrator. Since we have the translation uh, phrase here in the right part uh, of our screen or on our screen into English or kung saan salita po natin sa mas maiintindihan. Like for example, um, ano yung kanina? Ito pong airport. Nandun siya kanina sa image. So, uh, it was hard for me to determine which one is... Uh, Uh, the narrator is trying to to talk about since hindi naman natin siya na-practice dito sa ating um, phrase practice. So, let me try to click on this one. Kung hang. Ayan. Kung hang. So, this time, it will be much easier for us to recognize the image since we can hear the narrator uh, speaking or saying the right uh, pronunciation of the word. At the same time, we can see the the... The, the language or the word translated into the language we can understand, which is English. Yun kasi yung pinili ko. Pero pwede nyo rin pong ipiliin yung Tagalog. Okay? So, I think that will, that will be all um, for our uh, demonstration. So, may I give you back the floor, Ms. Annie Alright. So, uh, thank you so much, Teacher Rochelle, for uh, that demonstration. So as you can see, Teacher Rochelle showed us uh, the, the practice uh, category. We're in, what we just need to do is listen. As you can see, we have the, the graphics and the native speakers that we want to uh, show you. So let me uh, recall of the, uh, of the category that you, um, that you will uh, definitely uh, uh, need to explore, explore with the Utah application. So first, we have the, the practice. We're in what you just need to do from teacher Rochelle demonstration. Listen to the sounds of the language spoken by the male or the female native speakers. Familiarize yourself with the image which accompanies each item of vocabulary. Okay, then next to that is the easy game. This is the, the game that teacher Rochelle uh, uh, demo with us. So this is where the learning really start. In each round, you're presented with four vocabulary option. Then have to select the correct one from the oral prompt. Listening very carefully means that you can get full marks without having learned all of the words perfectly. Okay? So let me show you a very short demonstration for us to recall. This is where the learning really starts. In each round, you're presented with four vocabulary options. Then have to select the correct one from the oral prompt. Passport. Yes. Listening very carefully means that you can get full marks without having learned all of the words perfectly. This helps to boost confidence at an early stage. And if you don't get full marks first time round, knowing that it is possible well through careful listening means that you'll go back again and again until you've won all those points. All right, so definitely this will help boost confidence at an early uh, stage. 
And if you don't get the pool marks for first time round, knowing that it is possible through carefully listening means that you need to go back again until you've won all those points. Okay. Then next to that is the speaking game. Okay, let me show you a very short video. This is your first real chance to listen. This is your first real chance to listen to your voice it's in the new language. It's often what people find it's most uncomfortable, but makes a real difference to understanding a language. Recording each word or phrase yourself, then playing through a version of the easy game with your own audio, makes you really listen to the words and decide which aspects of pronunciation you need more work on. By this stage, you'll recognize the words you already know, so it sifts out the ones you haven't got to grips with yet. Right, there you go. So next to speaking game is the hard game. So by this stage, you'll recognize which word you already know. So this will help you uh, to sift out the ones that you have got to grips with yet. In the hard game, you have to select the correct card from an audio prompt in rounds of increasing complexity. So if you're finding this game hard, what you just need to do is go back to practice to have another look at some of the vocabulary. Please watch this quick video. In the hard game, you have to select the correct card from an audio prompt in rounds of increasing complexity. If you're finding this game hard, go back to practice to have another look at some of the vocabulary. Repeating rounds will help words stick in your mind. Right, there you go. The next to that is the memory game. This is actually the hardest game in you talk. Here, you not only have to know the words in the language you're learning, but you have to remember where on the screen they are when the card flips over. And then it also comes with the timer, means that there's no time to translate in your head. You really need to know the words instantly. It's stop and it's meant to be. This is the ultimate test of how well you recognize the vocabulary. Please watch the video. The hardest game in you talk. Here, you not only have to know the words in the language you're learning, but you have to remember where on the screen they are when the cards flip over. The timer means that there's no time to translate in your head. You really need to know the new words instantly. It's tough and it's meant to be. This is the ultimate test of how well you recognize the vocabulary. And once you've cracked it, you'll be well on your way to remembering all the new words. Right, there you go. Then right afterwards, we also have the recall. Finally, there's recall, the revision session. Whereas the previous activities teach you to understand what you hear, this one focuses on speaking, which uses a different part of the brain. It's quite hard Muchas to begin gracias. with, but gets easier with practice. Using nothing but a written prompt in your own language, you go through the full list of vocabulary, recording each word and marking yourself against the native speaker. You bring your language skills together here, speaking first, then listening back. And our tests show that learners judge themselves much more harshly than someone else would. This is the final check that the words have really sunk in. All right, so there you go. So as what you can see, what you just need to do is follow the standard topic in order for us to achieve our objective using the UTOK application. So uh, please take note that our games are designed to be short but hard enough that you are unlikely to get full marks first time. Giving you time to stop, to refresh, and come back to a topic later on, this technique does more for your memory than crumbing, okay? And because we all need extra practice on our weak spot, UTOK's intelligence software identifies which word you get wrong and ask you them more often. Okay, so with that, what are the benefits of using UTOK? Definitely, it will individualize learning so that our student can make progress at their own pace, especially on a remote learning setup that we have at the moment. Then UTOK will allow learners to record their voice and for their pronunciation to be evaluated individually. Strong focus on verbal skills. Then um. AI engine, uh, Utah comes with an AI engine to assist learners to improve pronunciation, works on areas of difficulty, and guide learners through the given content. Plus, this Utah uh, will definitely help uh, many engaging and challenging games and quizzes 
to motivate and facilitate learning. As I mentioned a while ago, for a remote learning setup, we need to look for an application wherein we can keep our student engaged. All right? Then this UTOC will definitely increase student confidence in language learning through games and quizzes. Plus, all official world languages, including Asian and European languages, are available, as well as several varieties of English. But for Palawan, your package given was American English, Chinese Mandarin, Japanese, French, Korean, and Spanish. Okay? Now, uh, what are the best way to learn Utah? Scientists, researchers, and ling linguists all pull their expertise to help make you talk. Hear why it's work. Okay? Linking a word to an image, meron tayo doon mga picture, creates a stronger memory than using words alone. So each word or phrase you hear on you talk is represented by a picture. It's called the dual coding because it uses both sides of our brain. The left which controls language and the right which handles the visual information. Then it also comes with voice recognition technology. It's good, but it's still not as the human ear. That's why users are asked to judge for themselves. However, their pronunciation compares with a native speaker as part of two you talk game. Then um, repeating new information will definitely boost our memory. So words you want to learn pop up in different games and words that you struggle with are identified by intelligent software and crop up more often. Then you talk practice section introduce new words into your short term memory while its other five games which get uh, progressively more challenging are aimed at getting them into your long term memory. The games are designed to be short but hard enough that you are unlikely to get pull marks on first time. So you need to keep on doing practice and giving you time to stop, to refresh, and come back to a topic later on. That's because space repetition does more for your memory than cramming. So there's no pressure. Plus, you talk makes learning fun that releases feel-good chemical called dopamine into our bloodstream, which boosts motivation and aid a recall. So keep up the good work, play the game, score points, and enjoy. Just like what we are here in Plata Multimedia, we have our own portal or dashboard wherein we also explore different languages for Plata Multimedia media team uh, travel, uh, travel the world because of Philippine Robotics Academy. So this time, I'll be showing you the dashboard okay so the dashboard is the managers that can check up on stop usage of language that what's that what we call uh dashboard so definitely you can track the progress of the users okay so with this okay let me show you the dashboard created for palawan okay let me go to my other screen for me to share all right so this is the dashboard created for Department of Education uh, Palawan. As you can see, uh, we have there your uh, logo, okay? So we can edit that. So, but this dashboard is already set up. So what we just uh, uh, give you here is a walkthrough of what are the features that you can enjoy, okay? So, as you can see, your logo was placed in there already, but it is editable. You can change it uh, depending on your logos. So as you can see, we can cost uh, just for a moment. Let me uh, focus with this. Okay, talking about the, okay, let me turn up my camera so you can focus with the dashboard. So as you can see from the interface of the dashboard, we can customize the settings. So we can put up the dashboard logo. So, so, so since this is your dashboard, we have there your logo. Okay, so what you just need to do is upload your own logo to be displayed in certificates as well and dashboard navigation bar. So from the navigation bar, we have first the logo. Then next to that is we have here 
home where it, it will give us the access to the interface. From the interface itself, as you can see, uh, we can filter the report okay, by, by, uh, by, uh, by groups. So you can select you, so you can select group since okay. so you can select groups. So since there's no user who are using the code already, so there's no group yet. Okay, but let me show you my my uh, own dashboard. Okay, just for a moment. Let me show you our dashboard. So with this, we can filter our report. So we can uh, create group uh, up to 10. For example, for select group um, on us, let's pick ICC. Okay, there you go. So it's loading. And right after loading, it will give us to a certain group that we want to search on. Why do we have this feature? Because this feature will give us access to, to, to the right group. For example, in, in senior high school, we have section uh, Aquino, we have section, um, uh, it depends, all right? So on my end, I'll be picking a ICC, then right afterwards, it will give us the user ranking. Then... Right afterwards, we can also select topic, but on my end, it's still loading. And then as you can see, we have here report period, so we can set it up as well, depending on our period. Uh, for example, um, we can set up the starter words for one week or two weeks, so we can set it up through our dashboard, All right? This is the thing. So we already have, uh, uh, it's loading for we have here plenty of groups already from our, um, from our dashboard. Okay, there you go. Just for a moment. Let me re-log in. Okay, there you go. So how are we going to filter our report? You can choose group, up to 10 groups, actually. Then you can uh, uh, select topic. Um, you can choose up to 10 languages and the report period of nine. So I'll pick ICC. Okay. And as you can see from ICC, there are 10 users already. Okay. Then um, once the user are already using the code, uh, technically, it will reflect on the dashboard, okay? So as you can see from this group, this uh, dashboard is for demonstration purposes only. So as you can see, we have here Rochelle Pajardo, Utalk user, Annalyn Aban, Jed Abiba Sason, Utalk user, and etc. Then uh, they don't have yet percentage for they're not yet uh, exploring some of this game. But from the total scores, uh, as you can see, um, Ms. Rochelle is the number one user who got already 249 score. And then right afterwards, we can track as well where that, uh, where that scores came from. Okay, so let's pick class report. With this, we can have the access for log in count. Kung gano ba sila kadalas gumagamit. So definitely, this is a good uh, application for it comes with a dashboard wherein we can monitor yung ating mga users. So um, makikita rin natin dito yung top topics na binubuksan nila. So technically, yung mga nag-reflect na grades kanina, so most of them uh, open yung first words category, food and drink, and quiz, making friends, and traveling. Okay, so yun yung mga madalas nilang binubuksan. So kayo, you can have the access as well kung ano yung mga topics na binigay nyo sa mga estudyante nyo. Supposedly, reflect doon sa top topics na pinapakita natin sa graph. Alright? Then, you can also monitor yung total time spent in the application. 
Then uh, with this, we can also uh, see yung top languages na ginagamit. For example, sa first quarter, ang ating ang inaaral pa lang ay English American. So uh, definitely, nagre-reflect doon sa ating chart na lahat ng most of our users are opening English American. But then from the demographic, it also shows na meron din gumagamit ng Japanese at Filipino Tagalog. So from this, we can uh, easily monitor kung sumusunod ba yung ating mga users. And it will also give us yung medal uh, tally. Kasi po, when they accomplish a certain courses, it will give us yung recognition through certificate and uh, medals na ipapakita ko mamaya. So as you can see from ICC group, top scorer, yung ating, ang ating top scorer from the group is si Ms. Rochelle Pajardo. Wherein, she earns 206 points from Japanese first word. Alright? So that's how we see yung class report. Then right afterwards, pwede natin siya agad i-export kung kailangan nyo ng report. So as you can see from there, exported na agad siya. That's it. Okay? Ganun lang, ganun siya kadaling i-export. Then right afterwards, let's go back to the, the bar again. Yan. So meron tayong leaderboard. So you can also select from a certain group since yung dashboard nyo ay for uh, Palawan, uh, for the whole group of Palawan. So we can definitely input groups para mas madali nating makita yung report ng ating mga respective users or students. So from here, ito yung leaderboard natin. It will definitely give us yung ranking ng mga users. Okay, for example, let's see yung kay uh, Rochelle. Ayan. Yan. So, ito yung point threshold niya. So, welcome aboard. Ito yung na-accomplish na na since she already, she already accomplished yung first word sa Japanese. So, yung mga user natin, ito yung mga aabangan nila. So, definitely, it will make them more excited and engaged. Kasi right after you accomplish a certain uh, courses, meron siyang corresponding certificate and medals. So for accomplishing first word in Japanese, naka-receive na si Teacher Rochelle ng bronze medal. Okay? But then as you uh, open uh, more courses and explore more courses, it will give you access doon pa sa mas marami pang uh, medals. Okay? Then uh, next to that. Okay, just give me a moment. There you go. So as you can see, naka, ang, ang total score niya is 249. Nakakuha na siya ng isang bronze uh, medal. Tapos we already view yung kanyang achievements. Then from there, one of the best uh, features also is we can generate yung um, certificate. Okay. So let me show you how. Okay, leaderboard. And next to leaderboard, we can manage group or we can add and regroup. Then, as you can see, we have there the complete report. Then right afterwards, we have here an icon wherein we can create certificate. So for example, we're going to pick Rochelle. Okay, so, since she already uh, got her bronze medal. So simply tick on her name from the list and uh, click on the create certificate button. And right afterwards, uh, for uh, we need to input uh, achievement text for us to create. So first words, select achievement, um, bronze award, select language, Japanese. Okay. There you go. Let's speak Japanese. There you go. And then certificate display language, English. And just for a moment. Okay, Japanese, the display language. And then right afterwards, if you have a set custom of the users first, 
then let's generate. Okay, just give me a moment. So as you can see, we can set up a certificate. This is actually the, the sample base, but let's create certificate for Rochelle. So her language is Japanese. First word, select achievement bronze award. Enter your own message. Ah, there you go. So right afterwards, we can already create uh, a certificate of achievement to our uh, student. So definitely this certificate and this medals will definitely encourage and keep our student more engaged. Then right after we set up our certificate for our student, we can uh, email that to our student and we can also download that. All right. Okay, so as you can see, we have the user screen, the teacher and admin screen, and then we have there the uh, different features of the dashboard wherein we can uh, customize report and create certificate to our student. All right. So I guess that's all for today. All right. Any questions from the group? Miss Connie? Yeah, thank you, Teacher Annalyn. Uh, I'm very excited on the certificate. <laughs> uh, of course, I have my own YouTube code. I will just have to start opening my topics. Then I can print my own certificate. <laughs> yes, definitely. So hope uh, we can open all the topics inside each language. Mm. From Abigail, any question po from our teachers? Uh, this is being recorded, so we will share with you the recordings later po. Uh, yes, um, uh, regarding po doon sa trial version, muna na po pwedeng gamitin ng mga participants so that they can directly have the opportunity to practice. Yes, Could that also become possible? Uh, Ma'am, I will send email to you to London. Uh, for the information of our participants, we already provided a trial pin during the stage, the development of this project. We presented this to the Ped Palawan. We provided certain number of pins, but I'm sure it's already expired. So I will send another email for another trial pin, Ma'am. Okay, ma'am. At any rate, uh, the, the codes are already here at DepEd Palawan and it will be distributed in most especially to the senior high school and to some uh, junior high schools. Um, hindi lang siya may bibigay kaagad kasi we will be having the proper coding of distribution sa mga schools. Yes, ma'am. Sige, ma'am, I will work on this trial pin para po uh, matest po ng ating mga teachers. Yes, ma'am Connie. Thank you very much. This is also very timely for the grade 10 students because they have already received their tablets. Magagamit wow. na po nila dito pa agad. Uh, yung sa mga sa senior high, yung kanilang tablets uh, on the process. Malapit na rin siguro nilang matanggap. Pero doon sa mga nakatanggap na mismo ng mga tablet, magagamit na nila yung, uh, yung codes para yes. makapag-practice. Makita na nila nila mismo, eh, ma-execute nila. That this oh. is the time we're in that they will be making use of the technology on the basis of the offline version. Yes, tama. Tsaka ma'am, pagka may internet, download na everything. Tapos, you can go to the island, to the mountains, kahit wala internet. Pwede sila i-continue nila yung kanilang language program. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much, po. So, with regards to the participants, mayroon po po bang ibang mga comments? Pakisulat lang po ninyo yung inyong mga comments, mga questions doon sa chat box natin. Uh, at any rate, um, we will also have the second session this afternoon by 1 o'clock, 1 to 3 o'clock. 
yung ibang nahirapan na makapasok sa sa group chat natin, sa training natin this morning, can also have the opportunity to join this afternoon. Okay, so mukhang wala namang mga, suggest, mga comments sa chat box. <laughs> So, ma'am, we'll be online later around 12.30 para we have enough time para uh, makakonek po sila earlier. Yes po, okay. sintang po. Uh, May uh, question dito po. Pwede po ba na i-share it para mapadali po ang distribution ng software? Uh, meron po kasing pipermahan para makas ano, to monitor yung mga mga schools na mabibigyan po ng mga codes. So kapag halimbawa na pumunta po dito yung mga heads niya sa division office, maibibigay ko sa kanila yung, ano, yung mga codes from Utah. Ang sa session 2 is the same link pa rin po. Yes, yes ma'am. Paano daw po makukuha ang certificate? Certificate po saan ito? Yung certificate po dito mismo sa, ano, sa pag-attend ng training is dito sa division office. Pero yung sa certificate ng sa mga halimbawa na nag, yung mga students natin is from the dashboard yon mismo. Di ba Ma'am Connie? Yes Ma'am. So, Kung sino yung maghahawak ng dashboard? Yes, correct, correct Ma'am. Tama po. Another question, Ma'am Avi, from Sir John Paul. Lahat po ba ng may gusto magkaroon ng codes or access ay mabibigyan? Well, so much that we really wanted to give everybody the codes, pero uh, we also have limited number of codes. Uh, magkakaroon po kami ng distribution. Uh, depende po sa number of uh, students. So, kung halimbawa na kukonti yung number of students, may possibility baka yung sa, sa mga schools ninyo ay magigyan sila lahat. Pero uh, ma, depende po yung doon sa, kasi meron po kami mga control number uh, with Sir Sean. Ang sa senior high po ay si Sir Sean Catello. Uh, ako naman po, mga Ricky Constantino sa junior high. Okay. Same topic po ba mamayang hapon? Uh, yes. yes po, same topic. So if you want to do a refresher, pwede din naman po. <laughs> Di ba ma'am? Pwede naman sila ulit mag-join if they have yes, time. Ma Actually, naka-FB live din naman po tayo sa Peter Kels. Mm. May mga questions pa po? Okay, tahimik na po ang ating chat box. So, Ma'am Abby, can we have a photo? Yes. Uh, okay. Photo? Can we request everybody to turn on their video so that we can have... Sure, Annalyn, can you take a picture, Jovan? Yes, po, yes. All right. Just so that we can see the participants. Right. Participants, so we where are the participants? We okay. Don't. okay. So far, we have 86 participants. Can you, uh, a while ago, we already have 95 participants. So most probably this afternoon, baka mas marami na magpa-participate sa atin. Yung mga hindi naka-attend kanina mo pa ngayong morning. Okay po. So we'll be uh, taking photos po na four pages po since marami po tayo. So let's begin okay. with the first page. All right, there you go. Second page po. All right, third page na po tayo mga madam. 
Alright? And fourth page po. Alright? So, there you go po. We'll be sharing po the group photo po sa, our, sa ating pong chat box. So, grab your photo. Thank you po. Okay, thank you very much, Paul, for participating. And then uh, we will be informing sa mga ano sa every districts po kung ilan po ang receive na mga codes. That that is all for today. Thank you very much. And for the last words, Mang Tony, yung last part po ng ano ng ating. Sure, Annalyn, can you show the thoughts to? Yes, the, the last part, uh, the second to the last one. Okay. Always walk through life as if you have something new to learn. And you will from Vernon forward. So this is already something that we are going to learn something new. That is all for today, this morning. Thank you very much and have a very pleasant noontime. Bye-bye po.